Hi there Capricorns! And this is your January 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com So um, before anything else, I just want to apologize to you guys because the last few signs of the zodiac for January is actually going to get this this is still for January 2020, but since it's already mid the month, so uh, you're getting the news half of the month only. So um, I do apologize for the late uploads. I do have issues with the technical stuff in uploading them and with my computer crashing from time to time and I also got sick so please bear with me for that and I'll promise to make it up to you guys on the following month definitely um, so um, yeah again this is just a general reading so it may or may not tune in for each and every Capricorns out there just bear that in mind so um, let's see what's going on with you guys I kind of feel that you know you're really feeling very low right now you do have the ten of swords and the three of swords as the focal in energy of this reading so and it does not always have to be something very negative though but it can be so i kind of feel that you know it's not necessarily a breakup it might be but i kind of feel that this is really more talking about how you are not exactly happy with your present situation there are things that is not completely satisfying you maybe you want to reform that whether you are single or in a relationship wanting to be in a relationship in a marriage or something like that you know you wanting you're wanting to have balance in your life there is some you have that desire to be happy i do see that i do see that you want to have a very fulfilling life fulfilling relationship something that can really make you emotionally happy I just kind of feel that right now things are not that uplifting even though you are wanting things to be or this could just be you thinking negatively like maybe there is a lack of optimism that you are feeling at this time for some of you guys this could be you you know maybe choosing to be alone choosing to be single or choosing their careers over their love life is actually quite possible i do know that there is definitely some form of disappointment in the air that is for sure um that i'm sensing here so you don't have to get mad at me or anything though because I'm not saying that all Capricorns are going to experience this. I just kind of feel that, you know, the people that I am tuning in into this reading might be experiencing this. Um, we also have the Nine of Swords over here. So there's really something in your mind that is somehow, you know, creeping up on you. Like there is some form of dissatisfaction. A lot of fears are showing up. And oddly enough, we do have the Saturn card, uh, no, not card, the Asteroid Dice of Saturn in the sign of Capricorn in the first house. So, you know, it's really, you know, something that you are really feeling within yourself. So there is a point wherein you wanted to change your life. You wanted to, I don't know, I just keep hearing the word reform, healing and change to occur in your life but you're not showing this to people though it is something that is inside of you it's not something you're showing to people so the people around you may not be aware of the things that is going on inside of you that kind of thing i do see here that you know things are going to get balanced so if you have not been taking any actions in the past, I kind of feel that, you know, uh, with the start of January, you are going to slowly take action to fix something, 
to reform something to make things happen but you do it in a very strict way or strict manner like there is some form of process and procedure into things so you know it, it could be you know you had this broken relationship or a falling out with someone and maybe you are wanting to fix what is wrong in that relationship it could be as simple as that but the procedure how to go about that how to fix a scenario is not going to be easy it does show us here that kind of energy so i really don't know what is your focus and focus topic here i just kind of feel that whatever topic you are in concern with right now it has given you a lot of pain a lot of hard work and you know some form of disappointments here and there but it has already come to a point wherein it cannot be um it cannot stay the same basically you know um it has come to a point wherein change is necessary to occur like there you need to do something about it there is something that you really really need to do to fix the scenario fix the setup whether it's to travel abroad to reach out to someone or to um to sort out a legal case we do have the justice card here sort out a legal case or you know divorce papers or you know for some of you maybe weddings um i don't know some form of official documents you know official things needs to be sorted out basically is what i'm getting here and of course i'm not going to go into the details of other things because this is supposed to be a love reading so you know all i can say is that you are going to fix a problem in a relationship it's the idea here because we do have here the energy we're in you are now willing to take action you are now willing to make in the effort do something about it so it could be that you know january could be the month wherein you realize that things are cannot be left untouched anymore this could be the month wherein you realize that you really need to do something about a certain scenario a certain relationship or a certain setup so that you can be happy so that happiness can be achieved so that there is going to be some form of you know peace and harmony in the air because i do see here that you know you want to have some form of victory some form of emotional happiness you know that is the main goal here so even though you function in a way we're in you know it's very pragmatic in a way it's not really something very emotional it's not really something um it's not really about what you feel like yeah i do see your feelings and all that but it kind of feels as if you have a logical approach on this like you know what to do so i kind of feel that you know maybe in the past you have not been taking action you're taking things slow and people are getting confused the other person is getting confused of what you really want but you you are the type of person where in if once you are ready you can really go all out you know you can really take action whether to pursue someone or to cut someone out you know you really know your thing you really know what to do so that is one thing that is really good about you so and and what i'm getting here is that your goal at the end of the day is to attain this emotional happiness to attain some form of achievement in this so the intention that you have is good even though that the other person may be confused about your own actions so there's definitely going to be 
a lot of thoughts on relationships, on what you should do about a relationship. I kind of feel that for a lot of you guys or the people that I'm tuning in right now, it is a point wherein your relationship is, I don't know what type of relationship you have. Like, I really literally don't know. It's like, I don't even know if you have a relationship with someone. It gives me that feeling wherein this relationship feels, it does not feel a relationship. It feels like it was stopped. It feels as if there was a breakup already or it feels as if things ended up suddenly to a point where any don't even know if this is a relationship still or not but it is still something dear to your heart and you may not really express that in a very passionate way but it it is there and it is something that you you know you keep you keep close to your heart that you treasure so you are going to put some form of closure or you know a last form of action into that area of your life you know, so some form of decision making is going to be happening right there whether to cut someone out or to move on and to let go only you would know that but I kind of feel that whatever is holding you back in the past that you were not ready with before, this time you are going to find your own resolve, own conviction to give an answer into things. It could be something that you are going to initiate or it could be initiated by the other person. But there is definitely going to be some form of clarity in the air. I kind of feel that for a lot of you guys, you are <laughs> starting to be emotional though. Maybe as the month ends, you are going to come. The answers and clarity is going to be achieved maybe by the end of the month. Because I kind of feel that there is going to be a lot of insight coming to you. And it shows us here that you have been patient, you have been um, too patient, basically, to a point where, and, you know, I kind of feel that a lot of you is dealing with someone like a perfect woman. Maybe you're the perfect woman, or maybe you're dealing with a perfect woman. Regardless, there is going to be some form of acknowledgement in the air. but i really and strongly feel that there is going to be a change of a status quo so whether you're entering a relationship or cutting out someone breaking up it's not really a breaking up that i feel here but it's really about you initiating of what you really want in this relationship and i kind of feel that the message here is telling us to decide carefully and to take a look on this in a very careful manner because the decisions that you take to change this relationship is going to be irreversible you know you cannot change that anymore so once you make a decision on a certain relationship or with a certain person it's going to be you know having a period and or an exclamation and that and you know you either move to the next chapter next phase of your life with that person or you close that book for good so there is that um energy right there there is going to be you know that's why it's going to be very important that you know what you truly want and you are sure that this is what you want so do you want to be single do you want to be in a relationship do you want to get married or what do you want that is really the focus here so clarity in terms of relationships and is going to be in focus and very important for you guys and for many of you there is going to be a wish fulfilling 
event that is going to come into place. Things have been hard. You have experienced so much and a lot of things. But do know that at the end of the day, you will find yourself feeling fulfilled that things were worth it. So, um, yeah, this could have a heavy nature for some of you guys. And some of you guys are used to this type of energy. It might be heavy for some people, though, because we're dealing with Saturn and Capricorn. And with a lot of very serious cards over here as well. But do know that, you know, whatever conclusions that you come up with will help you move forward with your life and that is always a positive thing you are going to gain your confidence back as well and that is really something very important that i need to express to you guys so let's see what is the advice for capricorn this january 2020 capricorn okay we have here the card of come out of a closet. Now, this is actually the card of spilling the beans and maybe finally talking to someone, someone that you haven't really talked to for quite a while, saying something truthful, coming out of the closet and telling someone what is the real situation what do you really feel for them maybe or you know expressing what is hidden those kinds of stuff so yeah there is definitely going to be a sense of clarity here and a sense of truth is definitely coming up so if you are not revealing something to someone for whatever reasons this could be the time wherein you're being advised or forced to you will come to a point wherein you need to say the truth or you know the truth is going to be revealed to you one way or another and maybe the truth is not easy but it's something that you have to accept eventually there is something, some form of message, messages in particular is going to be very important for you guys. And by the end of the cycle, by the end of this energy, serious energy, but once that truth comes out, there is going to be some form of uplifting energy coming to you. Like you will feel better, you will feel as if the burden has been lifted. And I kind of feel that maybe for a lot of you guys, it could be that it is you who's going to take action. So, like I said earlier, whatever that you were not ready in the past, you are ready now. So, maybe this is about some form of communication that you are now ready to speak up. You're now ready to make changes in that relationship. You are now ready to confront something to fight adversity if you feel that you have been you know um someone has taken advantage of you or you have been bullied or you know someone has abused you or something you are going to take action the necessary action to do something about it to overcome whatever situation that you are in right now because there is going to be an energy here of loving loving yourself in the process and the willingness not just to sulk but to put things really in a forward motion you have that energy in you and I just kind of feel that you know you are at the state we're in once you see once you're ready once you see what you really want once your eyes are open there's no holding back you can actually manifest and do the things that is in your mind 
I kind of feel that you, you know you are now ready you're ready to stand back up especially if you have been hurt or confused before and yeah this is the time for you to set some forward motion out in the world again so you might be ready to meet someone as well maybe you have been isolating yourself because of a past struggle and maybe you're still isolating yourself at this time but by the end of january i kind of feel that either you force yourself either you force yourself or you will be forced by whatever circumstances to go out there in the world and to meet someone in particular so there's definitely going to be some forward action movement that is going to be coming for you it may not necessarily happen within january though but it's definitely something that will be in your mind like you know you will come into terms of you know that hey it's time for me to do something about this it's time for me to change it's time for me to make an effort it's time for me to take action and things so you will know and you will know by the end of the month that you know it's time for you to maybe move on or move forward with this there is something that you will find out within the month of january that is really the message over here and it's going to be very crucial and very important with how you are going to deal with your life personally and with your relationships as well so um yeah this is my reading for you guys capricorn i do hope that this gives you insight and clarity to your own situation it's a little bit on the serious side but i do hope that um this reading will help you one way or another so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and i'll see you guys again on my next video on february